Good morning, my friends. I am editing this video and I think I needed an intro. So I had Adam with me on paternity leave the first, let's see, two weeks after the baby was born and then his mom came into town too. So I decided the first Monday, the first day period was a Monday that I had the baby all by myself that I was gonna do a first time with the baby alone vlog. So that is what you're about to watch. The little man is in his little snuggle puppy swing. Amazing, it is so amazing. And I heard amazing things about it. Well, I heard that it could go either way, 50-50. Before I put it on my registry, I heard that it could be amazing and the baby would love it. And I also heard that some babies can't stand it. So it was a gamble and he loves it. And mommy loves it because he's safe in there and he is just chilling, hanging out. He's getting hungry right now, but we are having a great time. So without wasting any more time, here is my very first day alone with the baby. Lord help us. I hear a little man. It's 9.17. We had a one o'clock and a, f no, no, no. We had two o'clock and a six o'clock wake up, something like that. So we went back to sleep, just woke up. Here we go. Hi, buddy. Shh. Should we shut off your mind? Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. okay. Let's put that in the bottle. CJ needed to eat and this was before we got his tongue tie and his lip tie fixed so I had to give him some formula and that's okay but I still wanted to protect and actually increase my milk supply for when he was fixed. Fix out so funny like a dog but for when it was fixed so I started to pump. I was using the portable pump at the time but I've since moved back to my wall pump because it gets more milk. A couple of you guys suggested that and it really is true, at least for me. So I saved the portable for emergencies like in the car. Next, I decided to use this Mom Cozy baby carrier, which has been a life saver for us. I can put the baby in there, do things hands-free. The best part about this one is that it is military grade as far as the straps and the all of the little doohickeys that keep it on you. So you just wrap it around you. And then the straps are kind of like a knapsack where they pull out of that little pocket, you tighten them, and then you can push them back into that little pocket so they don't hurt you or the baby. And then there's little snaps at the top and that's so cool because you could put the baby's head in there and it's made out of mesh, like a little hood. So you could put it over the baby without worrying about him or her not being able to breathe, especially for babies that can't control their head yet. It is a lifesaver. And then you just kind of put your baby in there when they are this young, you tend to want to froggy their legs and keep them inside. As they get older, I believe it's suggested older than four weeks, you can pull their legs out the side and just kind of have them dangling out. But right now, CJ and I are just chilling, hands-free, getting stuff done. Then we FaceTime Adam to say hello and good morning because we were asleep when he left that morning. But he was in a meeting, so we just kind of did some sign language back and forth to one another, and I told him to call me back when he was done. A-okay. Moving on with the rest of my day. So here we go, doing some adulting. How fun. Not really. But I had to sign some checks. I had to pay some bills. I had to deposit some stuff into my account using my banking app. Aren't those things amazing now? You don't even have to leave the house, which has been incredible. Learned through having a baby that it's really hard to go out when you're a new mom. So CJ was just kind of chilling in his little boppy, which has been a lifesaver. Thank you again for sending that. It's been 
literally one of our holy grails, but it was 1132 at this point and I am just starting to eat the breakfast that I made for myself at eight o'clock. Then I took some lactation supplements with my breakfast, some ibuprofen because oof, I had some major migraines for two weeks after I delivered the baby. I took my prenatals. The doctor told me to stay on those for a while. Another mother's milk supplement. The bottle is black. So I wanted to play with the baby. I know he could see some contrast colors and I wanted to shake the bottle, make some noise and see if he could follow it with his eyes, which he did. Back to breakfast. What a slow roll when you have a child. So much fun though. Then we did some tummy time, which actually wasn't on his tummy in this video, but I did flip him over and do that because the pediatrician told me that he wants him doing about 20 to 30 minutes of tummy time a day at this age. Oh look, it's noon and I'm finally brushing my teeth. <laughs> the joys, ah, it's so much fun. And then it was time to take a shower. I just felt gross. I've been trying to figure this out. So I put a towel on the floor, the baby in his boppy lounger, started the shower. Here it is two o'clock and I'm finally getting in there. Just quickly got undressed and then got into the shower and took as quick of a shower as I possibly could while still feeling like I was getting clean enough to feel good to continue my day. So dried off really quickly and then went to go get the baby, kisses of course, and it was time to get dressed and then continue to figure this day out all by myself. So I moved the baby and it made the bed. You know, I was one of those people in the past that figured, why make the bed? I'm just getting back into it. I'm going to make it a, a mess again anyway. But Adam came home and he influenced me to make the bed every single day because he said it sets you up for success and I couldn't agree more. So just making the bed nice and pretty, putting our throw pillows on and then the never ending laundry began for that day took the dry stuff out, put the dirty stuff in, and then went to go fold it. I clean the lint trap every single time I take clothes out of the dryer because your girl's not messing around with potential fire hazard, the anxiety. So now it's time to fold the clothes. So many adorable newborn things, blankets, swaddles, my clothes, daddy's clothes, you name it. I'm still, by the way, in some maternity clothes. Anything that's loose and flowy, I could wear for my pre-maternity, but I'm working to get back into my other clothes. At this point, baby was starting to wake up. He got a little bit fussy and I had to take care of him before I continued to fold the laundry. It was time for a bottle at this point because obviously the pacifier was not working. I figured while I was sitting here, I would check my voicemail, which was good because I had a message. Hi, I'm Kevin. I was calling regarding Christian's appointment. If you could please give me a call back as soon as you get this. I'm seven out you. Hello, thank you for choosing Mental Specialist. My name is Delta. How many do you have? Hi, Elsa. I am, my name is Roseanne calling about my son, Christian Clausen. I'm just returning Heaven's Call. Okay, one moment, please. Thanks so much. Okay. Uh, hi, Mom. This is Heaven. Hi, Heaven. How are you? Hi. I'm good, thank you. I was just calling you because I wanted to follow up with the insurance, but it looked like he was still not added to the plan yet. Yeah, so I spoke with okay. them this morning. They needed me uh -huh. to... Um, upload his birth certificate to confirm. They got that. They said that he'll be added by Tuesday. So can okay. we go ahead with the appointment and then try to put it yeah. after? Does that work? Yeah. Perfect. No, yeah, I was okay with that. I just wanted to let you know because I was still honoring this one for you. Thank you. And I do have another question to ask you. If um, you if you were to wait until after you get the baby and then you were to 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 I was trying to, because there was another patient at 8, it looks like it's going to be a longer appointment, so I didn't want you guys really waiting. Okay. Um, okay, perfect. Okay, that sounds really good. I will go ahead and confirm um, the appointment, and then we'll see you tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Awesome. We'll see you then. Thank you. Have okay, you too. Bye. Bye. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Yes, period. I just wanted to let you know I spoke to the pediatric dentist, period. His appointment is moved to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, period. Does that work for your question mark? 
Adam said that it worked for him and worked out perfectly for me because I didn't want to have to reschedule the appointment, but I really wanted him to be there. So I broke the baby really quick, put him back down, got him to stop fussing, and went back to folding the clothes. Here it is, 2.30. I feel like I haven't gotten anything accomplished the whole day, but I'm just getting used to figuring out how to do life and chores and house stuff and all that stuff around having a baby by myself. Thank God he's still at the point where he lays around and sleeps a lot. Then I decided that I wanted to make lactation cookies. I am trying anything and everything to increase my milk supply, especially while the baby wasn't breastfeeding. Okay, so I tried to film some more, but the footage got wrecked for some reason. There's only audio and no video. So basically that was it. Everything takes a million times longer with the baby, including doing this intro and outro because the little man is either being a diva and wants to be on camera or he's ready to eat. So I love you guys. Do me a favor and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. It just helps me out so, so much in YouTube. I'm trying to increase my subscribers so we can get Adam's story, my story, and my videos out to more people. Also, subscribe if you're not already subscribed because we want you to follow this journey and go back and watch other videos on the channel. Let me know what you want to see more of in the comments below. I love you guys so much. CJ love you guys, loves you guys so much. Can't speak. I will see you in the next one. Mwah.